Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial. Here it is simplifying radicals guided. It says go step by step to reduce the radical. Here we have radical 160. We have to break this up into two parts. We want to think about using our perfect squares. I see that number 16 is a perfect square, so I'm gonna use that. The radical can be broken down into radical 16 times radical 10. This works. Radical 16 is a perfect square, which can be broken down to 4. So 16 becomes the 4. The radical 10 stays the same as radical 10. That is the correct answer. Okay. Here they show you another path as well. Here they use 4 and 40. We have 288. Let's see which one I can use. 288 let's see if that can be divided by 36 yes it can so I saw that 288 can be broken down into 36 times 8 the reason why I use 36 is because 36 the radical 36 is a perfect square so I'm gonna hit that radical 36 can be broken down to just the number 6 and radical 8 can be broken down too as well. Right. So 8 can be broken down into 4 and 2. So radical 4 can be broken down into 2. And radical 2 stays the same. So the answer is 6 times 2, which is 12. And radical 2. Good. Yep, there you go. Breaks it down. I use, oh, I should have used 144. Here was, they used 72. So, all right. Uh, next, 216. Uh, let's see, can 216 be divided by 36? Yes. So, 216 can be broken down to 36 times 6. Try that. Radical 36 can be broken down to 6. Radical 6 stays the same as radical 6. Good. If you use 4 and 45, you have to do it again. All right. Last one, 288. 288 can be divided by 6. No, 144. Yeah. 288 can be divided by 144. The reason why I use 144 is 144 is 12 times 12 it's not on the list but the square root of 144 is equal to 12 because 12 squared is equal to 144 so 1288 can be broken down into 144 times 2 Square root of 144 just goes to 12. Radical 2 stays the same. And that's it. All right. So that is how you simplify a radical guided.